Well, we finally know why the coronavirus has happened. Brother Perry Stone made a very, very awesome video explaining why we're in the situation we're in right now. And I just thank Jesus for what he said in that video because it really opened my mind and my eyes to a lot of things. So, basically the coronavirus is a wake-up call. <clears throat> we're a nation that's becoming anti-God, anti-Christian, and Jesus is not having any more of it. The day of reckoning is here. Meaning that <clears throat> certain judgments are going to take place. Now, reckoning is as scary a word as you think it is. Because when you hear that word reckoning, oh man, that really stirs up your spirit inside, doesn't it? It's to get people's attention. Because we're in a time right now where people are showing their true colors. And we're in a separation right now. This year you're going to see people separated on each side. One for Jesus and one for the enemy. And it really, really opens it up for me. It really just kind of opens up the, uh, you know, it just kind of makes things clearer. It's a wake-up call for me, too, because I need to get out there and start preaching Jesus instead of, like, partying and vacationing all the time. Because that's the problem. A lot of people are vacationing and having parties and just enjoying themselves in the flesh and not thinking about the lost souls that still need Jesus. And we let opportunity after opportunity pass by when we could reach them with Jesus. Instead, we choose to do whatever we want in the flesh. And it's time to stop. It's time for the church to be more pro-Jesus and do what Jesus tells you. Because a lot of times we ignore Jesus and we shouldn't. Jesus can only put up with so, so much, guys. And, you know, the things that Jesus considers abominations, we exalt abortion and the the rainbow Perry Stone mentioned Jesus gave us the rainbow as a sign of you know the a promise that he would never flood the earth again with water what do we choose to do with that rainbow that Jesus gave us as a sign of he will never flood the earth again we use it as a sign for being gay and transgender it's a sin those are deadly sins. Now, Jesus can put up with it because this is the time of grace. We're still in mercy. But if it gets to a point where we're constantly doing it and, you know, it becomes a routine and we're so consumed by that that we won't even consider turning around for Jesus, he's going to send something like this saying, you better back off. You better back off. Because these things are serious. We think that these are no big deal. But it is a big deal. And Jesus is showing that it is a big deal. And we need to get our hearts right before Jesus returns. I hope you guys will take this to heart. Because the day of reckoning is here. The day of wrath is still to come. You don't want to be down here during those days of wrath. Also, Perry Stone mentioned something very interesting. Basically, he attributed the coronavirus to the 12 locusts that will torment people for 12 months. And I think he might be right. I, I'm not sure, but the thing is, I didn't see the video far enough to know that, but I think that's what he was getting at. Um, but it's a really awesome video. I definitely recommend you go check it out. Perry Stone is a very wise man of Jesus, and he knows what he's talking about. He's connected with God and uh, heaven. So I hope you take this message to heart, and I'll see you guys later. Jesus is returning very soon, so make sure you get right with Jesus today so you can go up in the rapture and get your eternal reward.